We caught up with Randy Doran, Belfish Post 32 baseball coach. And Randy, great to have you join us here on Black Hills TV. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, coming to our game, uh, watching us play this afternoon. Yeah, of course, it's uh, June 20th here on a Saturday in Sturgis. And uh, a couple games you played today. Yeah, uh, came out first game, ready to play. Uh, fought a really, uh, really good Cheyenne team. Uh, was able to walk it off in the bottom of the seventh. It was a great, uh, great first win for a very young senior team that we've got. Uh, and then we went and uh, played against a really good uh, Gillette team. And, you know, we had a little bit of a lightning delay in there. And, you know, a young team uh, coming back from that, uh, you know, we weren't as clean and crisp as we were uh, heading into things. Yeah. Who were your leaders today at the plate? Uh, at the plate, uh, the first game, uh, Gage Crot, uh, number one. He came through at the bottom of the seventh with that game-winning hit. Uh, it scored uh, number five, uh, Nolan Walfelt. Uh, he managed to get on base, uh, start off the seventh. Uh, we were able to work him around. Uh, it was basically I, we had two outs on contact. I was going to send him no matter what, and, you know, paid off. We were able to get the ball where it needed to be to be able to score that run, win that first game. Uh, second game, uh, you know, there was a lot of guys. A lot of guys have been hitting the ball really hard. Uh, they just kind of haven't been dropping. And, you know, that's just kind of how baseball goes sometimes. Uh, that first game, most of our hard-hit balls ended up going to somebody who's just standing right there. Uh, we just couldn't find the gaps. But hopefully uh, we're going to play another game Sunday, uh, finish off this tournament here, and hopefully uh, we can start finding those holes a little bit more. Let's go around the horn. Who are your infielders? Uh, infielders, uh, uh, Gage Crot, number one. He's kind of been our starting shortstop, uh, great leader, uh, great kid, gives 110% everything he does. Uh, second base has kind of been rotating a little bit. Uh, today, uh, Tayton Yackley, he's a, seven, he's a 15-year-old, uh, stepped in and played for us right there. Uh, Nolan Walfelt uh, played a little bit at third, as well as Blake Vischa. Uh, he's another 17-year-old leader that we've got. Um, when Blake's not pitching, Blake pitched yesterday, and then today he played third for us. And then uh, Sean Walfelt, uh, left-hander, has kind of been our first baseman. We'll also rotate uh, another one of our pitchers. He was a pitcher to start our game this morning, uh, Anthony Budmeyer. Uh, he started today, pitched six great innings, only gave up one one run. Uh, but he'll also rotate in at first in the outfield. And then our, our catcher is only 15. Uh, he's got a, a lot of potential. That's uh, Evan Vischa. Hey, Evan caught a couple great games today. Didn't let much go by him. He does it. He gives everything he's got back there. Uh, it's tough, especially you know trying to catch a, a second game of a doubleheader as well. Uh, but he's a good little ball player. I, uh, I call him little because his brother's a little bit bigger than him. I, I'm hoping that he gets to be the size of his brother in a couple years. But, uh, no, he's great. He loves being back there. He loves catching. And he's got a great mentality, he's, uh, tough as nails. And it's hard to get him out of there. Randy, how about your outfield? Uh, outfield today, uh, we had Dalton Davis in left. Uh, Gabe Heck, yeah, he's really uh, come on strong the last couple weeks. Another 15-year-old kid that we got in center. Um, and then in, in right field, we got number nine, Quentin Brisk. Randy, since it's your first time here on Black Coast TV, we have a lot of sports fans that watch our videos. Tell us where you're from and how you uh, tell us about your baseball background. Yeah, uh, Originally from southwest Iowa, small town called Harlan, a town of about 5,000. Uh, huge sports town. Uh, you grow up playing everything. I, you know, I played basketball, football, uh, played some baseball, uh, did a little bit of everything growing up. Uh, you know, uh, the, the the best ball player in my family is my younger brother. Uh, he's going to be playing Division One baseball next year at UNO, and just kind of from when he was playing little t-ball pitching machine, going up through. Uh, you know, I was kind of there coaching him, helping him uh, as he's going through the youth uh, levels. And then uh, last year. Uh, took a, a job as an assistant at Black Hill State assistant softball coach and that kind of helped uh, you know when I wanted to uh, apply for this job here and start coaching for post uh, 32. Yeah. All right Randy good luck this season and uh, hey thanks for joining us here on Black Hills TV. Hey, I appreciate you covering uh, post 32 baseball and uh, great to see you up here.
Thank you.